Let's see if this next one is as well. We got the Troop Tigers visiting Grand Saline tonight, and the Indians dominated the first half. Here's Grand Saline's Preston Anderson throwing to Caleb Amaya. But as he fights for yards, Troop strips the ball. Jacob Baker recovers the fumble, but the Tigers can't convert. So here come the Indians again. This time Peyton Butterfield takes the handoff, follows his blocker, and he becomes his own blocker. Oh, my God, all the way to the end zone. Nice play from the guy there. It's Grand Celine just cruising at this point. Anderson with a perfect throw to a wide open Hudson Griffin to give the Indians a 20 to nothing lead. Wow, but it's Troop's turn to fight back. Grayson Heron keeps it and fights across the goal line to get the Tigers on board. But that doesn't stop Grand Celine. Anderson, well, hey, he's going to go deep. Connecting with who? Griffin again. And he is gone. Get off me. Nope, tripped up. Just short of the goal line. <laughs> but that sets this up. Anderson going to call his own number. Takes it in for an Indian touchdown. That made it 27-7. Indians at the half. Oh, and Troop, okay, I was about to say, this was very uncharacteristic of Troop to be down 20 to zero. But hey, lost by just, just a touchdown. This district, West Russ, Edgewood, Troop, Grand Saline, all so good.